up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today we are in our room with the view. There's a video, and we are taking a look at Barbie stuff. I finally found this journal at Five Below. They came out a while ago before the Barbie movie, and I just couldn't find it until recently. The paper has little dots on it, and it might be good for writing down crafting ideas. I also picked up the world's smallest fashion case for $5. I bought one from Amazon a while ago, but it was fun to see it in the wild. It comes with a case and two dolls. I can see that we're getting the swimsuit Barbie. And our mystery Barbie is Ken. I mean, Malibu Ken. And I did not know that this could come out. Huh, you learn something new every day. These Barbies are the same as the ones that come with the micro figures and comics. So we can store all of them inside and use them as dolls for dolls. Oh dear sweet Roots Barbie. I tried to keep you on your original body, but I can't. I just can't. So let's see if we can match her with Barbie Looks doll number 12. Yeah, I think it'll work. So let's do a quick head swap. I place my dolls in a plastic bag to protect them from the hot water. Some people like to dunk the doll right into the water. This is just what I do. I heat water to a boil and place the dolls inside. Caution, hot water is hot. Head swapping is a risky business, you have been warned. The doll has been sitting in the water for about two minutes and the head is nice and soft. So I'm gonna just grip the neck and remove the head. I cut the little spikes on the head or the neck peg just to make it easier to swap heads in the future. And I attach the new head. And now our Roots Barbie is a curvy made to move. Since we already have the hot water out, let's answer a question I saw in the comments. What would a Barbie Extra Mini look like on an LL Surprise tween's body? Like this. Well, sort of. The neck peg is not compatible, so I just kind of push the head down on the neck. I bought this fashion pack at Five Below. It was $5, and I'm gonna take that little piece off the back of the hanger. I place it on the neck peg. Then I put the head back on and it worked. The head is pretty secure. I can tilt the head from side to side a little and we can still turn. What about up and down? Uh, not much. With this body, we trade a joint at the knee for a click knee. She doesn't have a ton of range of motion there. Personally, I'd rather have the joint, but we do get wrist articulation and I like the proportions better. With this body, the doll stands a little under six and a half inches. Let's take a look at the dress from the Barbie fashion pack. Here it is on a classic Barbie. It has ruffled tulle at the bottom, but just in the front. The dress has a raw edge at the bottom. It has straps and tulle around the arms a large white necklace, and pearly shoes. Here it is on a curvy. The shoes are definitely for a curvy or a tall doll, and I would have liked for the ruffles to have gone all the way around. The Barbie the Movie 1956 Corvette has different packaging. I found this at Target for $1.29 in the mix of regular Hot Wheels. So if you've been looking for this car, you might be able to find it by looking through a Hot Wheels bin. Speaking of finding things we've been looking for, I have been looking for these new Barbie playsets for a while. I found them at my local Walmart for $10.97 each. I really wanted this one for our Barbie cafe. Some light assembly is required for the table. We're getting a light pink table and some hot pink chairs. When I saw the cereal box, I got excited because I felt like it was giving some Barbie the movie vibes. But we don't get a bowl. We get a carton of cow milk and it says good morning. A white vase with flowers and they painted them. 
The table is made so the pieces can fit inside and stay secure. We get a carton of orange juice and that's not a sticker. It is printed on just like a Barbie face. Sorry, that was wrong. There's a pitcher, two blue cups with a B for Barbie, a plate with an egg printed on it, a jar of honey, a star waffle attached to a plate, two gold colored forks, and two butter knives. There are not enough of those little indents for all the items, so I kept the cups loose. I like the size of the table. It's not too large. It won't take up a lot of space in the dollhouse. The chairs aren't my favorite Barbie chair design, but that's just me. I do like how everything is very pink, very Barbie the movie. Just like this yellow pool chair. In the movie, they had long pool chairs with yellow cushions. So I like this little detail here. We get a pink plastic donut floaty. We have seen this design before. We get a small drink floaty, a pink drink, an orange tube of sunblock with no label, a white visor, pink heart sunglasses. I wore some just like this to the Barbie movie. Pink flip flops and a white tablet with Barbie and the time on the screen. The last one I picked up looks kind of like an outdoor juice bar. We get a pink and white counter, which also loosely reminds me of Barbie the movie. A pink chair. I think this one is kind of cute. There's a white and pink blender. The top can be removed. There's a yellow stereo. A cutting board with a gold colored knife that matches the silverware from the table and chair set. I love when the accessories are coordinated. We have a pineapple drink where the top is removable. A coconut drink. We have two bottles of juice or flavoring. One is orange, the other is pink. The pink one has an orange slice on the front and the orange one has a strawberry on the front. Hmm. We have two cups with straws, bananas, and limes. Totally loving all the fresh fruit. We could probably place this set by the pool or even in the kitchen as an island. I am always excited to see new Barbie play sets and I would love to see a new couch. Just throwing that out there. While I was at Walmart, I did see this. The accessory pack I bought on Amazon months ago and there it was at Walmart just sitting on the shelf. It was $4.97. Inside, we have paper bags. Oh, well, a paper bag, which contains a rose compact with blush, two lipsticks, one is silver colored and one is gold. Love the painted details. We have a pink makeup brush, a purple hairbrush, a small purple tube of mascara, star nail polish, and it does say Barbie on the front, a black makeup palette with a mirror, another brush, a makeup case. The bottom is peach, the top is clear, and it can open. And we can fit all the little pieces inside. We also get a ring light, a cell phone, and a stand. So our dolls can create their own little get ready with me videos. My Barbie the movie inline skating Ken has arrived. I bought this doll from Walmart for $24.97. He comes with yellow, pink, and white inline skates. The wheels really turn. They look just like Barbies, only smaller. He has knee pads, wristbands, and a belt bag or a fanny pack, a sleeveless jacket with matching shorts, a pink tank top, and a visor. He's articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. And now we have a matching set. I picked up a few Barbie pets at Target for $5.99 each. We're getting like a beach bag and it even has the new Barbie art on the side. Let's open it up. There's a collector's guide. This is series 12. We get two pets inside and on the back, we can see all the different pets. The Dotson is super cute. Love the pose. I like these because they're flocked and fuzzy and sometimes we get realistic colors. However, I could live without some of the molded on and glitter details. 
So I am totally hoping we get the Dotson or the Pit Bulls. The bag is kind of cute, by the way. Let's see which one is our first pet. And we have the Yorkie wearing glasses. The sculpt is really cute. It's just looking up at you. However, <laughs> those glasses, can I remove them? Yeah, maybe, but they do look glued on. So if I pull them off, there is a risk I will remove some of the hair. You know, the fuzz. And the second one is pink and a bunny without a nose. But those big floppy ears, I would love to see this in a natural color. But it is cute and pink too. Let's try again. In the first bag, we get a hamster on a flamingo floaty. I might put this one in the pool just for fun. And the second one is hopefully a dog. Hopefully a dog. No, it's a purple ferret. Come on, I really just want one of the realistic looking pets without something on its face. <gasps> Look at that face. It's the Shibu Inu. Sorry if I am saying that wrong. It doesn't have anything on its face, but it does have a large sculpted blanket on top of it. It is pretty cute, but we have one more. Hopefully this is one of the pit bulls. Please. Yes. It's just standing there with a little pink collar. It does have glitter on it, but it's okay because it's the collar. And it just about matches this dress. I wonder how this dress would look without the little tool sleeves. Oh, like that. I'm going to say the play sets were my favorite find of the day, as well as this accessory pack. I really like how they didn't come with the doll and gave us Barbie the movie vibes and hope to see more in the future. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at some Barbie stuff. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Oops. <laughs> Bye.